Today I'm going to be doing a coffee maker showdown slash comparison between the Chemex here on the right and the Hario V60. The Hario V60 comes in more materials aside from glass, but this is the glass version. Also comes in ceramic, I believe, and I think there's a copper version. So yeah, you have lots of options in terms of the material that your V60 is made of. Chemex, it's always going to be glass. I don't see them ever making a Chemex in any other material, but who knows, I could be wrong. This has been around forever. It's in the MoMA. It's made in the USA. This is made in Japan, the Hario V60 that is. They both offer different filters. They come with, um, well, they don't come with any filters. I, I should say that you have the option with the Chemex to get these bleached white ones that are unfolded. So unfolded means that basically it comes in the square and you have to just put it into the Chemex yourself like that. So let me give you a look here. So once it's been rinsed, it'll sit more snugly in there and look something like that. They also have a pre-folded version, so it just basically comes in a circular form right out of the box. So you can get right to brewing with no fuss. And then you also have a natural paper version, which I actually think I have on stock. So hold on one second. Okay, here's a look at the natural paper version. Brown, unbleached, same, aside from the type of paper. I don't recommend these ones because they do impart a really strong paper taste. So that's why I switched over to the white one that you see in the Chemex right now. I do, however, use a natural paper Hario filter. It doesn't have a papery taste, so I like that. It does also have white ones available, and I believe these are the O2 size filters, so you can even use Melita or another brand if you wanted. But I like the Hario ones. They're actually some of my favorite filters. And the process is you just fold this perforation right here, preferably on a table. And then you just add it to your dripper. And again, if you pre-rinse, it will stick to the sides, which is something I'd recommend doing. It will also get out any potential paper taste. So what I'm going to do here in this showdown, I'm going to actually use the same grind, same water temperature, same amount of coffee, same amount of water, stuff I normally do. But this time I'm going to focus on brew times, extraction times. So I'm going to try and make sure that I get the exact same total extraction time for each cup of coffee. And in order to do that, I think I'm gonna to have to brew each of these separately, not simultaneously. So I'll show you what grind I'm using and then tell you about all the ratios, etc. Then I'll conduct a blind taste test to see what my preference is. And I am gonna use a medium grind just so nothing is kind of more partial to the other one. Hario V60 tends to require finer grinds because of the bigger hole, so this is to slow down the total extraction time, whereas the Chemex will require a coarser grind because the water slash brewed coffee is just coming through this really small surface area. So because of that, you want to have a coarser grind in general with Chemex. But I'm going to do something in between for both of them. Uh, instead of doing multiple trials with different grinds, I think that will just complicate things too much. And frankly, I think you just want a quick solution, quick answer as to which makes the better coffee if you just randomly threw in some coffee at a certain grind level, which I know a lot of people do. So in other words, which one is going to be more forgiving with the coffee that we brew with?
So 205 degrees Fahrenheit is the water temperature I've decided to use. I figured that I didn't want to over extract. I know that there's going to be temperature loss during the brew, but I think this will keep us in the 195 to 205 degree range, which is what I'm after. In any case, since we're going to have the same extraction time, or at least that's what I'm going to aim for, water temperature should remain constant throughout. Okay, 19 grams weight out. And do an 18 to 1 ratio, so 342 is what we want in terms of water. Okay, so on the left here, I wrote down my pulse schedule for the Hario V60. So I bloomed with 46 grams in about 40 seconds. So I'm just going to follow the schedule here to make sure it's the same. So this is my Hario V60. I labeled it with an orange sticker at the bottom. And then this is my Chemex. I'm gonna let them cool down for a bit first and then I'll shuffle them around and do the blind tasting. All right, I think they've both cooled down enough. So let's shuffle and deal. And I'm just gonna keep shuffling until I forget which one's which. I'm also closing my eyes. I mean, you can't see it, but I'm gonna take my sips with my eyes closed too, or at least I'm not gonna look at the coffee because I don't want any visual cues here. So here's number one. Okay.
All right, so the winner is this guy. This one, I mean, they were both over extracted, frankly, and I'm gonna have to try the same experiment on a coffee that isn't dark roast. So that will be coming up at the end of this video, hopefully. But if not, I will add the future iteration to the post, which you'll find the link of at the description of the video. So anyway, this one was not as good as this one. And let me show you what we got here. Oh, I can't show you the label, but this was the Hario V60. This was the Chemex. So not really sure what happened there, uh, why both the coffees didn't come out too good. Could be that, I don't know, maybe the water temperature was too high. This is a darker coffee, so you don't want to be using water temperatures that are too high. This coffee's also pretty old. I don't know when exactly it was roasted. This came from Totem, and I'm not trying to bash on them, but they don't have a roast date on the bag, and this one's been sitting around for a while, so that could have something to do with it. It's not terrible, but At least in this case, the Hario V60 is the much smoother cup of coffee here. Way more acidity from the Chemex, um, but also the bitter notes are sticking out way more than they are with the Hario V60. So in this trial, Hario V60 is the winner of this coffee maker showdown between the Chemex and the Hario V60.